guys, it's me. Um, I just want to come share a quick video with you guys. Um, so, I'm going to be honest. The past couple of weeks, I have been struggling with anger. <laughs> okay? Um, in a sense of how I respond. I did a video before on how I respond. Right? You, you have a choice to respond or to react. Right? So, as I said before, I was working on how I responded. So, but to be com completely honest, sometimes I respond in anger. Because of the profession that I'm in, I repeat myself a lot. Right? And so, sometimes it's just like, look, I, I don't want to keep saying it, but, you know, they're children. So, that's what children do. You have to keep repeating yourself. Um... But this week, God allowed me to see something, okay? I was able to see forgiveness and how easily God forgives us. How easily it doesn't matter, okay? So there was a situation that occurred at work um, with a student. And the other students, you know, saw what happened. And a few moments later, that student asked the other students to help. And they all volunteered. I'll help you. I'll help you. I'll help you. As if the incident never occurred. Right? And so, I sat there in awe like, wow. They really chose not to recall what had happened. Although they knew the situation had occurred a few minutes earlier, they really chose not to recollect that. And they moved forward in forgiveness and helped this student clean up his mess, right? So that resonated with me. How... We as adults, as humans, can hold on to anger or resentment or anxiety or whatever it is that you hold on to. You harbor that, right? And God is like, I want you to let that go. I have forgiven you. I have redeemed you. I have washed you white as snow. You are no longer a victim. You are no longer what you see in the mirror. I don't see you that way. God doesn't see us in our mess. He say, He sees us through Jesus Christ. If you believe that you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, Jesus is your Redeemer. So God sees Jesus when he looks at you. And that hit me because I really had to sit back and think like, wow, do I really harbor stuff like that? Do I really hold on to anger when God is like, I've already forgiven you. Let's move on. And I'm like, man, I want to be in that moment. I thought to myself, I need to be more like these students. I need to be able to forgive and move on and release because that's what God called us to do right Jesus says he, white, he washes us white as snow he throws our sins into the sea of forgetfulness like when he forgives he forgives he doesn't remember it anymore so why is it that we continue to remember? Why is it that we hold on to whatever the situation is? Why is it that we wrestle with forgiving ourselves or forgiving that person? Because if we were to see things through God's eyes, it would be easier to release. Because if we release... Then, 
we are able to live completely victoriously. You are able to live completely victoriously. Why? Because you're living in freedom. You're not bound by anger or resentment or anxiety or fear or whatever the case may be. You're not bound by any of that. You're simply living in victory. In victory. And why do we have the victory? Because Jesus gave it to us. That's why he died on the cross. The Bible says that we are victorious. So whatever you're going through, you're, you're already victorious. You've already won. Jesus has already redeemed you. So just remember to let go, release, move forward into the gifts and the callings that God has called you to do. Don't be afraid to operate in that. Don't be afraid to walk in that. Don't be afraid to step up and be who God called you to be. Because he called us all to live a victorious life. He called us all to live with authority. Think about that. When Jesus died on the cross, he gave us authority. He, Jesus said that we will be able to do more than what he did. Jesus raised people from the dead. And we're supposed to be able to do more than that. So why are we wrestling? Why are we not living within that authority that God has given us? Don't be afraid to walk in your authority. Don't be afraid to live victoriously. Don't be afraid to release and move on. Because that's who Jesus called us to be. To be victorious. To walk in victory. The Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. I say so today. I am going to live the rest of my life exercising, embracing the God-given authority that God has given me. And I encourage you to do the same thing. God bless. Bye.